We're going to learn how we can use doubles to add other numbers. This is lesson 3.4. And I explained in the last video that double facts are addition sentences that have double numbers. They have add-ins that are the same. We can use doubles to help us add other numbers. We break apart one add-in to make a doubles fact with some left over. 4 plus 5 turns into 4 plus 4 plus 1. We break apart the 5 to be 4 plus 1. Now we have doubles. 4 plus 4 with one more. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, plus the one more is equal to 9. And this is very helpful if you have your doubles memorized. We can break apart an add end to make a double with some left over. If we know the sums of doubles, we can add the sum to the number left over. 5 plus 6, we break the 6 into a 5 plus 1. We have doubles 5 plus 5, and if we know 5 plus 5 is equal to 10, we add the one more, 10 plus 1, that's equal to 11. 8 plus 7, we break apart the 8 into a 1 and a 7, now we have doubles 7 plus 7. And if we know 7 plus 7 is equal to 14, we can add the one more, 14 plus 1 is equal to 15. That means 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. 3 plus 4, we could count on, starting with the larger number 4 and count on 3. Or we could break the 4 into a 3 plus 1. And if we know 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, we can add one more and it'll equal 7, which means 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 8 plus 9, we can break apart the 9 into an 8 plus 1, and if we know that 8 plus 8 is equal to 16, we can add the 1 more and get 17, which means 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. 3 plus 2, we can start with the 3 and count on 2, or we could break the 3 into a 1 and a 2. Now we have doubles 2 plus 2. And if we know 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, we can add the extra 1 left over, and we'll get 5, which means 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Would we use doubles or count on to find the sum, and why? If we have 6 plus 7, would we use doubles or count on to find the sum? Which one would be better? And if we had 6 plus 2, would we use doubles or count on? Which one would be better? Which one would be easier? For 6 plus 7, 7 is close to 6, so we could use doubles. We could break the 7 into a 6 and a 1. Now we have double 6 plus 6, and if we know 6 plus 6 is equal to 12, then one more would be 13. That means 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. For 6 plus 2, it would be better to count on. These numbers are very far apart from each other, and the 2 is small. So we can start with the larger number 6 and count on 2, 6, 7, 8. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. 're five purple gems and six blue gems. How many gems are there? Use doubles to add. We have five purple gems here and six blue gems. If we break the six into five and one more, we can add five plus five plus one. So five plus six is equal to five plus five plus one more. And if we know 5 plus 5 is equal to 10, one more would be 11. So 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. We do the 5 plus 5 to get 10 and add one more and we get 11. Now, this in the box here in the rectangle is called a key. We need to find the value of these colored circles. 
We can use what we know about doubles to complete the key and then write the missing sums for this one and this one. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out what the values of the colored circles are. We can start with what we know about doubles. An orange one plus an orange one equals six. What value is an orange one? Well, it's doubles. Do you know what double fact equals six? If you said three plus three, you're right. Three plus three is equal to six. That means each orange one is equal to three. Now it's got an orange one and a green one, but we can't do this one until we find out what these values are. So we need to use the doubles. A green one plus a green one equals eight. That's a doubles fact. It's the same. Do you know what doubles fact equals eight? We can make two groups. And we can count back and forth with counters until we get to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's four plus four. That means each of these must be equal to four. The green equals four. Four plus four is equal to eight. We can't do this one until we figure out the purple ones. We need that value next. What doubles fact equals 10? We can do our groups again. Make two groups to help. Count back and forth with counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have five in this one and five in this one. Each purple one must be equal to five. Five plus five equals ten. Now that we've finished the key, now we can answer this one and this one. Orange is a three and green is a four. So that must be a three and that must be a four. If three plus three equals six, and this four is one more than three, the sum must be one more than six. Three plus three equals six, so three plus four must equal seven. The green ones are equal to four, and the purple ones are equal to five. Let's fix that. Now we have four plus five. Well, if four plus four is equal to eight, and five is one more than this four, then the sum must be one more than the eight. Four plus four is eight, four plus five is nine. So we needed to figure out the doubles facts to figure out what the value of the colored circles in the key were, and then we were able to answer these. Now here's a key and it tells us the value of the colors and the shapes. A green circle is two, a blue triangle is a three, and a red square is a four. And we can solve these and find the sum by using that key. If a green circle is a two, then this is a two. If a blue triangle is a three, then this is a three. We can count on from the larger number, three, four, five. The green circle is a two. The red square is a four. We can count on from the larger number, the four, and count on the two, four, five, six. The blue triangle is a three. The red square is a four. We can count on from the larger number, the four, We'll count on the three, four, five, six, seven. So the key helped us solve these and find the sum. And in this one, the doubles helped us finish the key and fill in the numbers so that we could answer the other ones last. Our next lesson is doubles plus one and doubles minus one. That's going to be lesson 3.5. If you like this video and it helped you, 
hit the like button so I know. I'm proud of you. Keep going. Don't quit. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.